Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. This is Season 2. I will be playing a new profile, normal difficulty, hunters enabled. So let's get started. Right, okay. Avoid animals unless absolutely necessary. Fine. Let's see where we are. Yeah, let's just pick a direction. Let's head towards the sun. So we have a gun, an axe, and obviously chopping wood is going to be a thing now. Okay, we found our first crate and we've got the fence in front of us. Nice, we've got some ammo and some water. That's a really good start. Now I think in normal mode you can expect there to be less uh, loot bags where in easy I think they came in groups of five, in normal I think they come in groups of three. I could be wrong but that's just my, my experience of watching others play normal. Right we have a bear over that way, we'll avoid him. So what I'm looking for now is fibre and any more crates because uh, there we go we'll grab, grab the first fibre I can see some more now because we won't have a lot of food and water to uh, rely on if we get into trouble we do need to be a bit more cautious now I think I know where I am. But this first part of the game really is about just gathering as many resources as we can. So we're going to need a fire starting kit. We're going to need a base to put our campfire on. We're going to need to avoid that bear. <laughs> oh. So thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you're following on from my last season. Season 1 we managed to do 100 episodes. Uh, which was uh, I think quite an achievement. Uh, I started out, I can see a crate down here. I started out being a complete and utter novice at the game hadn't played PC games for years so I was very unfamiliar with the controls um, if you watch the last series you'll you'll have heard me talk about that quite often and by the time we got to episode 100 um, I, I'd like to think I was doing well I certainly felt a lot more confident and comfortable and it only felt right that we should get back into the game. I want that chicken. Let's see if we can catch him. I do need to be aware that he'll probably run towards a predator. They do stop so we should have a chance to catch him. I'm hoping. We'll see he's running towards the fence so that's pretty good. But it probably will exhaust our uh, stamina completely. Come on. You've got to stop now, fella. Oh, probably better if I actually tried to press the F button. I've run out of stamina now. He will too, though, so we've got another chance. If we can get him early on, and we'll have at least one good meal for this evening, hopefully, as long as we don't run into a wolf or something. Oh, he's a fast little bugger, isn't he? No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, how terrible is that? Oh. Last chance. If I can't catch him like this, I'll have to just resort to getting a bow. 
It is a bit tricky. He's going to run me off a cliff. I know where I am. I got him! Yay! Okay. Right, so I've used a lot of my stamina up doing that, but also I've managed to get my first meal without uh, having to use a bow or anything. So at least we know we're going to have food this evening. try and grab some wood, get our stamina back. Obviously we dropped all of that on the floor. It's pretty tricky doing that uh, chasing chickens. Um, you really have to be aware that you could run into a predator so only do it if you're near the fence I recommend and you've got a good view of everything around you. So, so we've got our stamina back, our health is continuing to build. Uh, and I do know where I am now. To be honest, I might just let all this fall on the floor anyway. Good, okay, right, let's find more stuff. Um, actually, what we'll do quickly is we'll make a couple of sticks. Uh, we need one more plant to make biofuel. And then we can make a fire starting kit. And then we'll make the campfire. And then hopefully if we can make a platform, then the rest of the day we can just concentrate on uh, just searching for items. So. Now this is quite an interesting area for animals, so uh, I just need to listen out. But also there is quite a bit of fibre up here. Ah, uh, there's a chicken again. Should we... I, I don't know if I... I don't know if I should really expend the energy. We should probably think about making a bow. Let's get all the crates that we can. There's no point in trying to actually mine any ores or... Oh, that's a nice nice uh, bonus there. A couple of planks to help make our uh, platform. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Medicinal plants. So I think what we'll do is we'll make one biofuel. And then we should be able to make a fire starting kit. Um, we'll need some more sticks for the campfire. So at least we won't uh, freeze. And we've got one chicken to eat, we've got an apple and we have some blueberries. There's a bear. Hmm. Now, I'm not too sure how close I can get, but I think that's probably too close. Oh, there's another crate actually, and some more medicinal plants. Oh, biofuel anyway. Never mind. So it's a good uh, good starting point for me because I wanted to be this side of the map. This is the other side to where last last season was. So I think this is a, a great starting location. Wow, there's so many plants everywhere. This is normal mode. It's quite surprising. Okay. There's a bear in front of us and something else down there, but didn't quite catch what it was. And you know what, I might put that away for a second, it's distracting me being on the screen. And it's uh, no use defensively anyway, so we need a bow for that. I am going to need to make a bow soon. 
Right, looks like this was the one I was after when that bear was here. Good job I came back, because there is another crate. The fence is just in front of us. Nice. Um, shall we make some more rounds? Uh, what does it take for a bow these days? Right, five sticks and seven cordage. Um, seven cordage? Did I get that right? Seven cordage, wow. Okay. Well, that's definitely something we're going to need more of. And it's not usually in short su supply if you can find uh, where everything's spawning. So I've been told by a few people who, uh, who are lovely enough to comment on the uh, channel that they find these videos relaxing. I wonder if they find the start of a new season is relaxing because I can tell you that I'm a little bit stressed at the moment um, it's one of those things you you want to do well you don't want to make a fool of yourself I think I better chop some wood um, yeah so you're it's a bit of self-inflicted pressure really I mean it's a game you're not really under any great pressure but It's kind of funny, the um, self-inflicted pressure is, of, is usually the most damaging in health terms. Because you know that it shouldn't matter, it, you know, it's, um, it's not real. It's not like there's a proper family emergency or something going on. Um, you know, but, it, it, you know, it's just... Um, <laughs> It can get to you more than it should. Let's just say that. I need to make sure I have enough stamina to run away from something. So we've got the fence here, but we have a lovely couple of crates in front of us, but a wolf is guarding them. Now it looks like he's heading this way, so I think what I might do is circle around behind him and give him a chance to move off. And I can see another crate anyway in this direction. This this little area here is a little bit awkward uh, because of the number of bears. So the wolf is up there on the left. This is quite a nice area actually. It might be uh, a good spot to build apart from the number of animals. Certainly be a nice spot for a picnic. Hopefully I'm not missing too much stuff as I'm running. Okay, uh, we've got a bit of open ground here. I can see a crate there, so I think we'll grab that while it all looks empty. Let's make a few more sticks. I don't know how many we need for the bow. Five, yeah, okay. And what we can do is we can kill the chicken to get some fe feathers. Because uh, I don't think we've found any in any of the crates so far. But it is quite nerve wracking. Um, I, I talk about stress, obviously, it's nerves more than anything. Um, we, I think we use stress too often now in everyday language. I don't think things are stressful. I think, you know, you're nervous about stuff, you're worried about things. And it's not necessarily what true stress is. Yeah, I think I'm more nervous maybe than stressed. I at least use that word too too frequently. Right, okay, we have a crate. Lovely. Aha, we have a feather. There's a chicken. I don't think we have the stamina to chase him down. I could make the bow, 
I, oh, I have actually um, some arrows. Uh, well, what about? I need more sticks. Gosh, I forget. You forget all about these. Yeah. You forget all about these little things that you have to craft along the way. Okay. Well, we were going to head this way anyway because of those um, crates that were over here by the wolf. I'm going to grab this fibre. Fibre is absolutely key, isn't it? Did he run this way towards the fence? I didn't see where he went. Hmm. It would be nice to run and catch a chicken, but I don't think that's going to happen. Let's reload this weapon there that we've got a few bits of ammo. Um, right, I'm going to make at least one arrow. We'll get the bow on our hot bar. Uh, we will need some planks. Can we make a foundation? We need two cordage, so let's do that. And foundation, we need three more sets of planks. And then we're going to need wood for the evening. And once we've done that, I think I'll be happy... I'll be happy to just settle down and do some hunting. Um, and get some get some logs. But let's uh, see if we can find the crates that we saw over here earlier. Right, the wolf's still around. Got a feeling it was down here. Could be wrong. There is a bear. Lovely. Sometimes you get ambushed a bit in these areas by animals. I'm heading back towards the wolf this way, this is the problem. But we should get a warning growl. Yeah, there's, that's the bit too close to him. Right, well I think those crates have gone. Need to have a look at time. Uh, we're out of stamina again. So let's do some chopping. Should probably eat something. Um, maybe think about where we're going to put our campfire. Okay, I definitely dropped a couple. Let's see, can we eat? We can eat a berry, we can eat an apple. And we'll mix those two into berry water. Uh, we've got nothing else to eat, but we do have one chicken. Um, we need to make a foundation. And we've got three arrows. We've got a fire starting kit. Um, definitely need more wood. So let's do that. It would be nice to find a few more crates, but I don't think I'm in exactly the right area for that. Okay, good. I only dropped those two, I think. Right, let's head this way, I think. do a little bit more chopping in a second. Just get a bit of a view of things. Okay, grab a bit more wood. So I don't want to go to the trouble of putting a platform and a campfire down and then decide that's not where I want to uh, set up base. So. So this is, um, yeah, this is where I thought we were. Right, we've got a rabbit. 
Shame you don't get your arrow back. A rabbit isn't going to help me with my stock of arrows, unfortunately. But I do get cloth, which can make bandages. There's a bear down there. This is quite a berry area. There's a locked crate there. Ah, uh, fibre. We need crates. That's what we need. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Well, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Ran right into him then. Okay, know where we are now. This is that big hill right in the centre of the map. Oh, let's just catch catch our breath for a second. Yeah, very stressful for a second there. Didn't even see him really. Stamina is uh, suffering a little bit, but we need to think about where to set up base now. Previously, I was considering setting up. There's another locked crate over there. I think that's a locked crate rather than a. Yeah, it is. Just by that wolf. I was considering setting up a um, base next to um, a bit of a hill that you could see from up here I think in this direction um, that one in front of us there I was thinking of setting, it, setting up base there this time round because the other side of the map um, everything is within easy reach from this area anyway And I think it could be a good spot. But I'm not too... Well, we've got a wolf there. <laughs> Keep away from him. There's another... There's a chicken. Could always do with a good chicken. Right, okay, so we're pretty much out of feathers until we butcher these things. There's a bear. Alright, got to keep an eye on stamina. This uh, it is getting low, but we're headed in the general direction that I was thinking of uh, setting up the base in. Damn, and I broke my arrow. And I think I'm out of arrows now. Well, that was silly. Oh no. Oh, good God. Okay, well, we're running out of stamina. So this is not great. Whew. Wow, okay. Stamina is going to be an issue then. I've run past a lot of things I uh, I wanted to harvest back there. That's a shame. We'll just walk for a second, try and regain stamina. Don't really want to kill a wolf yet. This might be a nice area just on here because this is the the nice big open grass plain area good visibility all round let's eat a berry <laughs> try and get some of our um, some of our energy back don't want to become too reliant on that but I've got to do something there's a bear somewhere I can hear him I really wanted that crate. I think we'd probably be okay if we crouched. Kind of, kind of want to get that crate. Let's 
let's see how close we can get without uh, disturbing. I think I'm a little bit too close, I can hear him. Yeah, I'm too close. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> You're going to take risks though. You do have to take risks. Yeah, so early game it is pretty difficult to run everywhere, I will admit that. Uh, we've got another... this was the area I was talking about, yep. This is where I want to set up my base. Just up here. Nice, okay. Well, we should get a, a few feathers from the uh, chickens uh, to make some more arrows with. But I think this is a nice spot here. I think um, this is definitely where I was thinking. I think in the middle of here. Let's put the platform down. So, number six, what do we think? Right there? Right overlooking the area? Oh, I think so. Let's put the campfire down. That'll do for now. Everything can be moved now, so I'm not too concerned. We've got trees to chop wood. So we'll grab enough wood, hopefully, to keep us going for this evening. Yeah, we've got nice trees close by, so that should be good. Um, I'm not sure what the animal spawn is like in this area. Obviously, it's new to me. Uh, and also, I need to be sure that I can find my way back here as well. That's the thing. Shame there's no real big trees here to uh, harvest. Feeling a bit better about things now, but also I'm pretty sure I can hear like animals <laughs> in every direction. Okay, so I'm right there. Okay, that's good. I need to be sure I can find my way back. A nice little spot up here, I think. Make sure we've got enough wood to keep us going overnight. Oh, uh, okay. Even up here would have been probably just as good. But we'll we'll pl park ourselves here. We'll crouch. What can we make? What uh, we've got one cordage we could do with making a wall if we make another cordage and four planks uh, one more cordage base command unit we need more electrical components and some more more planks so I think that's probably going to have to wait for another day uh, should we make another foundation or maybe a crate instead I think a crate would probably be better so that we don't lose all of our stuff. Yeah, let's put a storage crate down. So we've got, what, two and two making. So we need another plank. And hopefully we will be able to keep this fire going overnight. We'll top up the fuel, make sure. We're not going to have an awful lot of stuff left to... Um, the only trouble is with this now, starting this game again, is that this will not have any light unless we do this. So while those things are crafting, let's get some food on. And this fire will not last long, so I'm not sure I have enough wood. So maybe making this storage crate was a bad idea. And of course we need nails as well for... Oh, I had matches, never mind. Oh well, we have another source of ignition there. 
keep an eye on this food because I can't afford to waste this but maybe I should have gathered a little bit more wood today and we got chased once which is a little bit disappointing and I'm, I need to make sure that I'm going to be able to find my way back to this location but we are starving and we, we don't have any fruit and this food's not going to last us long so <laughs> you forget just how difficult early game is in this one once you've got yourself a base, a storage crate ECU so you can find your way back this game is, you know, it's it's lovely to play but when you start out um, early days, yeah, it's tough it takes a lot of commitment wow, we're going to be hungry by the morning but we need to eat now, so we're good for water, but we need fruit and veg. Right, we should put that on our hot bar. And we should get this storage crate down. So number four, where should we put it? Let's put it right in front of us. Like I said, it doesn't matter with the placement of things now because everything can be moved. And in here we'll put scrap, cloth, Uh, maybe we'll keep that with us for arrows making SVT rounds. We've got seven rounds uh, additional to the uh, seven in the weapons, so that's pretty good. That's not bad. I wonder how many arrows I can make. Um, you need two sticks for every arrow and two nails. Wow, that's expensive. And we've got four feathers, so we could probably make a few more. But I want to keep an eye on the wood for the fire, because I'm not sure how long these logs are going to last. So we'll make at least one arrow. But I can't afford to waste them now. We could always take a wolf down anyway. Wow, it's very dark. <laughs> very dark here. It's going to be a long night. So, I think that's a pretty decent start to the day. We only got uh, chased once. We've got a few items ready um, to start building with. We do want to get a base command unit as soon as we can. Um, all we're waiting for, to be honest, is some wood and electrical components. So a couple more crates, we should have that. Um, we need a wall, so we'll need another... Ooh, we'll need some more nails. So I'm glad I didn't make any more arrows. Um, because uh, unless we can find some crates, we're going to need... We're going to need some arrows for that and some more cordage, so... But we can afford to... Uh, we can afford to uh, use this uh, fibre to make some cordage. Wow, that's uh, going down very quickly. We'll just pop one in there. I don't want to waste any. Okay, so that's where I'm going to wrap up the episode. So I hope you have enjoyed my first episode, new season, season two, subsistence, normal mode, um, new location on the map. All very exciting. I'm very nervous about this uh, new beginning. But looking forward to what uh, what we'll be able to build in this this new season. So I hope you join me next time. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.